Testaments, um, which is the new Margaret Atwood book. Mm -hmm. And everyone was like, oh yeah, I've read it. Oh yeah, I've read it, it's really great. And then I was like, we should be sharing these books. <laughs> <laughs> to have this episode where he was like mean and you were like. No, <laughs> and then she's like, got her wedding dress on. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, wow. <laughs> Yeah, and then we were in the, the thing with the bobo in the cemetery, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Get to hang out with Calamity. Yeah. I feel like Waverly and Calamity would be so close. <laughs> She'd just be like coming around, looking after Calamity, like. <laughs> so many jokes. <laughs> well, even as we age, people who are dealing with horrible diseases like Alzheimer's or dementia, and. Um, not to, gosh, I always do this, make it so freaking serious. Why can't I just answer the goddamn question? <laughs> so just keep it fun, Kat. Why do I have to go there all the time? Um, I think, um, I think it would be like, come on, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, I think that um, I, lo I would love to do more physical stuff. Like I would love for us to do. The obstacle course. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh. <laughs> that too? Yeah, or that too. Um, guys, this is a company called Build Ahead. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Hashtag Build Ahead. <laughs> you too can order one of these for your loved ones. <laughs> you look very nice. <laughs> well, <laughs> I feel like it could be better. <laughs> Who is more likely to make the bed every morning? <laughs> Zero hesitation on this one. <laughs> Why the no hesitation? Because I think, I, I think Waverly would be more like, just leave it, it's fine, let's go like grab breakfast first. And Nicole would be like, but it's, uh, it's untidy. <laughs> I don't know. Really? I think, I think, I think that's more also, you. Like, no? Maybe, actually, actually, you no. know what's funny? The See, this yeah. is the thing. I'm not like my hotel room is like a bomb went off in it right now. <laughs> because when I don't have anyone to account to or like consider someone else that I'm sharing a space with someone, I let loose. Right. But when you've been in relationships too, like you, you bring little bits of those baggage oh, with God, you, yeah. right? So yeah. yeah, there would be different, maybe different types of jealousy. Yeah. I think is all what the we're, fears from the past one where you're like, well, the last to. time this person did this yeah. and I can see it in you. So I'm, yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, well he basically tried to eat you, yeah. which is like... <laughs> but who hasn't? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you have an extremely dedicated fan base with zero chill. <laughs> but I feel like we're the body for the spirit of these characters in a way, and the spirit lives... This is going to sound hokey, but... <laughs> All of us as a community, because when somebody does a or writes a fiction or a song, they're embracing, kind of embodying the full or wiggly spirit of that moment too. Um, but um, the point of me saying that was okay. Okay. So we're gonna put this hat on. My whole life, people have kind of poked fun at me because I'm very organized and I really appear. Appear is the keyword here to have my shit together. <laughs> However, when stuff goes wrong, you know, we what's going on. Who did they come to to figure it out? When you first saw the role of Nicole, did you expect her to become such a big thing and like be so important to so many people and be like, that would literally change people's lives? No. Nope. <laughs> I only thought it was to do six episodes of the show. I was only contracted to do six. So that was like, that was the except of, oh, I'm going to go have a job for six episodes. That's great. You can be married for a while. <laughs> danced for Nicole twice now, but if Nicole were to dance for Waverly... I don't know if you guys do this, but sometimes I get very awkward if I tell people that I'm an actor, because then they inevitably go, oh, are you famous? Would I know you from anything? What have I seen you in? And then it gets into this whole thing and can become quite can awkward. list to a resume? Yeah, yeah. yeah. especially if you're sitting on a plane with someone, you're like, we have six more hours to go, so this could be a very long conversation. So usually I'll kind of fib and say something maybe that elicits less questions. I was sitting beside this lady, I was reading a script on my computer, 
She said, oh, are you an actor? And I said, no, I'm like, and it was for a class that I was taking, so I said, oh, no, director. And um, she was like, oh, um, I'm a casting director. <laughs> and it was the one time where I could have been like, and then I had to slowly be like, I'm not actually a director, I'm yeah. actually, and she's like, what are you going to Paris for? I was like, well, it's this kind of convention, I'm sort of an, I am an actor, and like, it was the, <laughs> the one time, the one time yeah. where I didn't tell That's the whole okay. truth. But she's casting Space Jam, so we'll see what she does with it. Yeah. I love Space Jam, I was like, you're casting Space Jam, actually, I am an actor, and funny <laughs> that you say that I play I basketball. I so many basketballs yeah. on the plane. <laughs> so what is Wayport's dream first date? Really? Well, when you got your boobs out, I was like, uh, wow! My, my boobs looked good. I was like, those, they, yeah. they look good, those boobs. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. yeah. Good for you. They looked good. I was like, girls, well done. Um, <laughs> At, in Seattle, I that panel. <laughs> and then one more, like, little thingy. This is very small. It's an embryo right now, so. It's coming. Not, no, not that. Not a baby. I am not pregnant. Let's be clear. <laughs> I'm not pregnant. Holy shit. <laughs> you gotta award me before that happens. Sorry, sorry. No, no, no. Let's clarify. Noel, get the whiteboard. Don't print that. <laughs> get the whiteboard. The idea. <laughs> The idea is 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 a, a little jewel. Do we want to call it that instead? So a few things are happening. Jesus Christ, sorry, so sorry. And so I I just have I think found what it's gonna be. So now it's just needs to grow and massage, not inside of my body. Just to clarify. One take? I just did a very long take with lots of. Uh, yeah, you just like yep. extended it and then I was you. Like, well, okay, so they I'll can do, snip it up. They can snip it up. Yeah, yeah. but I, I, I just was like, I'm just gonna go, okay, guys. So, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a fun day that was. Good question. Uh, I think. Why are you afraid of the rain? <laughs> <laughs> why? It doesn't always mean thunder. Bernie has had this like. Yeah. Hates thunder, but now he's associated rain with thunder. Mm -hmm. yeah. And man, oh man, is it hard to like dog psychology your dog? Because how do you make it rain so that you can train the dog? To, it's just a very complicated <laughs> thing. Um, we were out for a walk the other day, and I looked at the forecast, being like, "Is it going to rain in the next hour?" No, it's not. Okay, we can do it. And uh, just a couple drops, and I have to carry him the rest of the way home. Aww. So. <laughs> Thank good that he's small enough that I can carry him because he just shuts right down. And then I'm like, I'm coming back when I leave. I promise I'm coming back because he gets so anxious and I feel so bad. But uh, also, please stop being afraid of the rain. <laughs> it's really hard to manage. Um, and it doesn't always mean thunder. But then there's also fun things. Like, I still remember the day we were doing the Revenant battle and the, they lit that flaming tire and they rolled it past us. And we're like, oh, okay, go. <laughs> I think I'd like to pay for her to get a really rad tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think she'd really like that. 
like it might be something that she may not get for herself or something. And yeah, like Waverly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a holiday here too? Yeah. Okay. Well, we celebrate things. Free of labor. <laughs> <laughs> it's ironic. And thank you. Right. I've just got. I've just found a, a massive passion for cooking recently. I don't know if anyone else has. Yeah. I have a, passion a massive for passion for eating, so this is going to be beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And then we and then we had um, tapioca, <laughs> which is they they put it over the heat <laughs> and they put it through a sieve. No, it's really interesting. <laughs> I'm just looking at Dom's face, and then I rack focus with my eyes to Claire's face behind her. <laughs> And she sent us an email saying, are you guys, do you remember this? Are you guys ready to be gay icons? <laughs> yeah. Uh, fuck it. <laughs> I'm so gay. I'm fucking. And I was like, okay. I, I mean, like, I had no idea what that meant at all. It would be really interesting to go back and see what we responded. I think I was like, glad you liked it. <laughs> I mean, what are you supposed to say? I, we're going to come back around to your question, I promise. <laughs> and um, I watched a lot of Oprah, though. <laughs> it probably explains a lot about me, but... Um, <laughs> but one time, Oprah and her best friend, Gail, went to, like, a pioneer village. <laughs> Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Yes, okay. And they had to live, like, with no undies and live <laughs> off the land, and it was hilarious. And so I would like to see Winona and Nicole go on some sort of like overnight where they had to survive and maybe like, or go into a different time together where the whole world was foreign to them. So neither of them had a point of reference. Oh, that's so cool. That would be, I think, really fun. Cause then it would really put them on like an equal, well, they're on a, like an equal playing field because they don't know where to start either of them and they have no preconceived way of doing things. So I think that would be fun. Told, see, we came back around. <laughs>